Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games, and today's bonus game is the Zordal, or Xordal, however you'd like to pronounce that. Um, so I'm going to start with twice, because you guessed two words. Oh. Um, all right, what do I want to do here? I'm going to try an ST word. Um, how about stray? I like that. Ooh, I really like stray. Okay, so what's going on here? C A R something Y is my oh just carry maybe. I don't know what else it would be. Um yeah I'm just gonna guess carry nice. Okay, the A is second that's really good to know and then probably S T oh it's not aced and it's not asty. Hmm, we know it doesn't start with S or T though. But what could I mean, it could do something even like that, or maybe like that, or not A necessarily, or it wouldn't be an A, but. I like putting ST together. What if it was like AUST? Uh, except that's not really a thing, is it? Huh, you'd think it would be. Vowel-wise, we have O and U left. Could it be like A-S-T-O? Or even A-S-T-A? Oh, pasta. Yes, pasta. Oh, maybe I should have pasta for dinner. All right, P-A. <laughs> Wait, it's a, it's a plural? Pants? Weird. I guess pants is not really plural, is it? Because you can't have a singular pant. <laughs> All right, interesting. Pants and carry. Nice. All right, the only thing surprising about this Dordle is that it had a word ending in S, but I shouldn't be so surprised about Dordle doing that anymore. I'm just so used to Wordle that just stripped out just blindly most words that had an S. <laughs> All right, let's do Quartle. We're starting with pants and... I've already forgotten. Uh, carry, there it is. Okay. Where are we carrying our pants? Um, I'm trying to think about this R on the top left, and I'm trying desperately to put it there, but you know what? It's probably an ER word. Let's look, let's do an OER word just to see if we're dealing with one of those right now. Um, maybe I'll get the v W or the V because there's so many of those. I could do mover, I could do lover, gets the L, that's not bad, or lower. I don't know if I want the W or the V. I think W is slightly more versatile than V, so let's get the W. It's not even an ER word. All right, well, I don't mind too much knowing that it's not an ER word. Um, now I'm thinking it's like something RE. I'm not sure what that would be. It could be fried. Oh no, that puts the E in the fourth spot and that's no good. All right, let's look at the top right word because it just has a T. <laughs> so let's think about this T. Um, I almost said we could do think, but we can't. Well, we could do think, but it, there's no N, so not helpful. Um, but what can I do there? It does feel like starting with T is probably the most sensible thing at this point. I just don't know how to finish the word <laughs> uh, with what we've got left. Something like timid. I don't love it. Let's do it anyway. Darn, I was, I was half expecting that just to be correct. Uh, okay, I don't know what the top right word's doing, so I'm going to skip that for now. Let's look at the bottom right, because we have most of our letters. So, probably serif. Yeah. All right. Um, I-N-O seems reasonable, bottom left, but I don't know how to finish that word, actually. So maybe it's something else. Ooh, we got an F on the top right word. So, uh, <laughs> like, what what's going on with this word? 
like I F something T befit comes to mind, but that's not right because that puts E second. Um I can't repeat the I, so it's like it's gotta be like a U there or something. Or or maybe we start with F. I know we can't start with T. Fit like what are we doing here? I may just need more info. Alright. What am I What am I doing here? Top left word then? R E something? It feels like it's gotta be R E, because I mean otherwise it's E and then an R here. I don't know how that works. I guess it could be double E R. But I don't know how to end the word. That's the problem. So it feels like R E is going to have more options, but I can't think of anything. I mean, I can think of things that could potentially be words like rehug, rebug, but they're they're not like really words. Uh I want to use that U though. Could it be R double E? Doesn't seem to help. These are these are tough words. What's going on here? Um, I N O. What? Double O? I don't think so. I might just have to do a filler. Can I think of a good filler? I don't even think I can. I want to use a U. I only get the one filler. Um, it better be good. I don't know. It feels like I should be able to do this without a filler, though, doesn't it? I bet all, each of these words has like one left. <laughs> it seems strange, but. <clears throat> what am I doing with this F? I'm looking at this top right word and I'm very confused. Something I, maybe F I. I keep thinking of 50 and there's so many reasons it can't be 50. <laughs> um, F I something something T. That's my best guess. U T. There's, there's no way. That's not a word. T U. I just don't see how we're doing three constants in a row here. Um, which means it's going to use the U. I F U T. Darn. I'm just sitting here. I, I, I don't know what these words are, and I can't think of a good filler. Maybe maybe R E and then an, and then another R on the top left. I don't know. Re E E R something. G. K. No, it doesn't work. Or maybe ending in R E as well. Does that work? Or like R E something something E. Review? I'm gonna give it a try, because I got nothing. Oh wow, okay, that's tough. That didn't really help any of my other words. There's no U in either of the other words. How how does this top right word work? Because it doesn't have it only has an I and it's only got a single I. It does can't even use a Y. So like I've got a I've got to end I've got to involve a T and use three vowels three consonants in a row. I'm almost thinking it's like F I T H Z or something. Um, oh fifth no it can't be the T can't go fourth. Say okay um, fifth fits. 
fifths. <laughs> ah. Okay, so like I F something to what? Oh, I G H T. It's fight. I G H T. Darn it. That was so obvious too. G I N O or may oh it's bingo. Wow, why was this so hard? I didn't have any of the key letters. Okay, I don't think I should have struggled so much on that chordal. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But I did get it eventually, and I had one guess to spare. So I think I was right about each of these only having one left. I was very surprised when neither of these had a U in them, but that certainly helped to know. All right. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. All right, well, I'm seeing buff, nude, and unclad and bear. Is there, is there anything else that means the same thing? Naked. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but buff also can go with polish. So I'm just going to say buff goes with polish and we're going to do this. Yeah. Okay. Au naturel. <laughs> so buff and polish and maybe file. I don't know about file. Did I just get lucky because it's not this? Or all right, let's let's look for something else. Muffin seems muffin in Danish, just in a uh, like an apple turnover. What's our last um, pastry? Bun is bun just a pastry? Let's give it a try. Yep, baked goods. Okay. This is going very well. Um, I still think we have buff and polish and file, maybe. But I don't. OK, well, punts and fumbles and sacks and snaps are, are things you do in football. That's what I said. And then I guess these are synonyms, but I'm not 100% sure how. Manicure steps. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. OK. Yeah, quite straightforward today. Um, I don't think people are struggling too much on this one, um, but let me know how you did. All right, well, let's do the Zordal. And I saw this when I opened it up, so I'm trying to give you that, that fake initial reaction. Oh my god, no, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. We, have, we normally get one word at the top, um, but now we get two and because i'm playing hard mode i don't get to see what they are so this is very special um so it's probably four related words but i don't know what the top two words are so the only thing i can really do is just start with something um is there something from the connections i can start with let's start with naked that sounds fun <laughs> oh wow um so the way zordal works is first of all, it's got two words at the top that it just gives us, but I'm playing in hard, hard mode. So after every guess, it only reveals one letter of the words. Normally there's only one word up here, but today there's two. And then there's two hidden words that we're trying to find. So it's just like Wordle, but instead of one hidden word, there's two hidden words. So think about like Dordle where there's two hidden words, but unlike Dordle, they're smashed into one grid. So when we get a green, that does mean that the letter is in one of the words, but we don't know which one it's in. And we get a green A and a green N and a green E and this yellow H. We don't know which word they go in. Well, the only thing we do know is the two words never share any, uh, any letters with each other. So we don't have to worry about this N being in both words. Um, there can be more than one N, but they'd both be in the same word. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So this doesn't, what I'm saying is this doesn't have to be N-A something E. Right. It, we could, in fact, I think we probably have an A-E-R word and it's probably not the N with it, but I generally don't use greens in Zordal until I know the answer or I'm pretty confident in an answer and then I'll go for it because you have very few guesses in Zordal. You can't really play hard mode Zordal. Um, I would like to place the H though. I do like to place the, the yellow. So maybe we'll just do something like short to get a lot of good letters that we haven't used yet. 
That is a lot of good letters we haven't used yet. All right, I am getting more confident about this being an A-E-R word. Um, oh, this is a lot of Zs. Is the top row just Zs? <laughs> Um, is it, it's not snore or anything like that though. All right. So if this is an A E R word, then I'm thinking we could have the S here, but probably not. So I'm thinking we have another word that uses the N, the H and the S and the T, which is too many letters to use. So maybe not the S wait, could it be night? I think it could be to the point that I am actually going to guess night. Yes, night, because the sleepy, the sleepy theme. So we've got Zs, we've got H-O-R. Oh, so the R's in the middle. So we have, the, the letters we have left are A-S-E-R, and so it's it's like A-R-E-S, oh, it's a plural. So night, oh, nightmares. And this is horse, that's funny. Okay, not too hard today, but it was fun. Yes, a Z horse is a nightmare. That's funny. That's a that's a cool AI image there. Um, can I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for it to capture, but it looks cool. Um, if I zoom it out a bit, you can kind of see it. Anyway, um, yeah, Midjourney does a good job. All right, let's do polygonal. Um, these two repeat and these two repeat. So I am gonna look at ing. It's pro it's not very promising though, is it? Um, the only thing I can think of is like a T here, maybe an L here. I don't know. Maybe an S. I don't know. It's um. I don't like it. There might be an ing word, but I, I'm not s immediately seeing one. So what do we do is really the question. Um, it might be a plural. We do get plurals if the s repeats. So that's actually pretty frequent that we end up with the, the s repeating at the end there. Um, and then maybe like a t here, so we can do like an st style thing. Um, I, it feels like we got to put like an I in between those T's, right? Um, oh, we could do something like states, is it like restate. No, I can't do an E again. Um, but states feels like a really good ending, but I don't know how to I don't know how to prefix that, especially whether the A or the E. Hmm. It's so good though. I why can't I guess it? Um, <laughs> my states. Uh, on on states. All right. The other option is this is like a vowel, like an e. ERS maybe. I mean I see severs. Again, can't prefix it. On on severs. No no severs, please. No severs. Um or sevens? <laughs> Uh, what if it was like event, like something event, god event, pad pat event? That's where everyone pats each other in an event. Um, <laughs> we're going to dat event. Um, uh, It's so hard to start with a suffix and fill in a prefix. Unless it's ing. <laughs> this is feeling like filler territory to me. 
I'm going to try a few more options, but I'm getting the feeling it's some like random sets of letters that end up repeating here. That's going to just be so hard to find in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, I haven't found anything. Unfortunate. All right, Hexpert's off. Um, we're going to do machined. Let's see. Let's look at machined. Um, how about robustly? What's robustly look like? I'm not a, I'm not super happy with either of those. Um, how about strength? I like strength because it checks for repeated T in either of these. I mean, we don't know which slot it would go in, but it checks to see if there's a repeated T. It checks the E in this repeated blue spot. It checks for R and S. I like it. All right, well, we placed the N of all things. The E is not in this repeated spot. There's no T in the word at all. I think the S probably goes in this repeated spot. There is an E, but it's not repeated. So it's either here or here, probably. I mean, it could be at the start, but I'm thinking it's here. I'm thinking ending in ES, but I'm not so sure. Um, the problem is I don't have a good follow-up second filler for strength. You really just do strength and you hope for the best. Um, might be able to come up with something. But what's this repeated letter? It's got to be a vowel, right? Maybe an A. Which reinforces the E being second. I have no idea what this word would be. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um... I'm I'm tempted to guess like resonate <laughs> just to get more info, but I know that the E well the E could repeat in this slot. Maybe that maybe that's something to investigate. The E repeats here. This is an N, and then we get an S somewhere else. I don't know where the S would go. Here maybe. Um. The problem is what goes here? Another vowel, I guess? An A? Enes. Hmm. I mean, I can't immediately reject it, but I don't know what ends in Enes. Kleenes. I don't know. What can what can what what do I want to find out here? <laughs> All right, I want to find out if E is um I want to find out if E is in this repeated spot. So maybe we can maybe we can put an E there and end with S to see if S is in the repeated spot. We can do like um uh an EA word here maybe. So I like I like this. Uh we may I could do clean But I don't have to because it's not gonna be the answer anyway. Uh, I like this general thing that's happening here, but I need to finish the word somehow. Clean. All right, I'll just do cleaners then. It's unfortunate, but I'll do cleaners. Oof. Really. Okay, we know the E doesn't repeat. We know the S is, it's not a plural word that ends in S. I don't think the S repeats at all because, I mean, the thing is you can't really rule this out. I think you can rule this out. I was gonna say, cause it could be two, con it could be a, a, a break, a sil syllabic break. But I mean, what kind of syllabic break does this? Um, it doesn't. So the S is like here or second and so is the E. What if it was like ES? I don't know. That seems weird. Darn. I, I need another filler. I need letters. Let's just get letters at this point. Um, maybe I should have just done more robustly machined. The, robustly machined would have worked out way better than strength cleaners, but I didn't know that. Um,
What am I even gonna do? And like found. I know I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm definitely gonna be using letters. I don't need to use, but like founders. I don't know. That's. I don't need to end in ers again. What about like founding? I'm just gonna hit enter. Ooh, that F is surprising. Okay, F. So that means the S does go here, and we get N I S, and then F E probably. Oh, it could end in it could end in E. I think that's fine. That's what we get. Wait. Oh, this I repeats right, and then what else repeats? This E would repeat. Ooh. Okay, maybe I don't like the E repeating there. But then... All right, is there any way this works? It just doesn't seem like we can put anything after the F, because we can't do FR or FL. Okay, so we're putting the E after the F. And then this letter repeats. There's no T. Oh, feminism. Oh my gosh, that's a hard word. Whoa, feminism. Okay, so the ism ending is not something that comes up very often, but yeah, that's hard to think of for sure. Had I thought of the ism ending, would I have come up with feminism? I'm not entirely sure I would have. Wow. Only 44 words match the pattern. 14 ordinary. Okay. Act it's interesting that activist and feminism both... Um, share the same pattern and optimist and survivor. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, um, codified as well. All right, well, yeah, tough word today, very tough. Now, robustly machined would probably have made short work of this. I'd have to, I'd have to see the coloring. Uh, I'm not gonna do that though. <laughs> like open an incognito and look at what the coloring of robust machine would be. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I think I should have just gone with robust machine on this one, but I didn't know. I thought strength was hitting a lot of the things I was thinking about. Just I wasn't thinking about it right. Okay, well, let's do the mini. Um, how about ended? Why not? Must match the pattern. It oh, it repeats the E. Never mind. I was like, it does match the pattern. Um, uh, how about basis? There's an S, but not repeated. It's probably like S. Um, sleeve? That's not how you spell sleeve. Um, Steve? <laughs> uh, I want to do like E's here. Oh, could I do like E-S-E -E, though? Um, I don't know. S-L Sleet. This is weird. Okay. Um, D E D. Can't do sided because the eye is gone. What are we doing here? <laughs> huh. ESE looks okay, but I can't actually think of a word for it. O obese, but there's no B. Surely there's something else. Um, unease. That's definitely how you spell unease. 
Um, Wheeze. S H E. Shear. Okay, apparently shear is a word. Okay. Well, it is. It is this form. I just can't think of what it is. St Steam. Apparently that's a word too. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no, I was going to say sieve, but there's no... Suede? Suede. That's tough. The U-E is super uncommon, especially if you don't start with Q. If you start with Q, it's common, but okay. So actually, this is not that many words for uh, the mini. I mean, it's not one of the really small ones, but... Ooh, I always forget about octet. Octet is fun. All right. Let's move on. Let's do the symbol. We'll start with blaze. All right, and this is why we start with blaze because the Z might catch a, a symbol. So we're assuming this is yellow. And I usually assume it's an ER word. Um, I stopped doing timer because timer was the answer at some point, I think. Um, but we can do something like, let's do power, that's fun. Great power comes great responsibility. All right, there's an R at the end, but it's not ER, which is a little surprising. So it's either OR, oh sorry, it's AR or it is AR. I think AR is the only reasonable option here because it's gotta be a letter from Blaze that's not Z or E. And we're not doing LR or BR, so. And that means we're not, we don't have another A. We don't have an O or an E. So maybe something like IAR. Um, how would I do that? Or it could use maybe like I something AR. Um, it's hard though. It's hard to think of AR words because it's pronounced very similarly to ER words. And then I just think of ER words. <laughs> um, that's why I was thinking maybe, oh, maybe UAR would be good as well. IAR. There's gotta be something. <sighs> it's so hard. There, the, the, the other option is that we end in like Z-O or something, but I, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna consider that. Um, can't be E-A-R. E-A-R, I think I could think of plenty of things. Hmm. I want to do like CH or SH or something like that. Like start with TH. But I don't think that's how this works. Ush, ush, no, usher is, usher is ER for sure. Um, darn, I thought I thought of something. I'm having trouble thinking of words today. Definitely having trouble thinking of words today. Have they just been hard? <laughs> uh, uh, utter, utter is also ER. Uh, is there anything like... The thing is, I can't repeat the A. It really limits things. Um, inner. <laughs> I just keep thinking of ER words. How does this work? Okay, let's look at some stranger options like XAR. I can't filler the X. Um, again, I, I would want it to be ER. How how what would makes it AR instead of ER is really the question. When it's when it's IAR or UAR, that's what I can think of. Um, QUAR. I mean, it'd be squar. Squar is not a word. Okay, squar is not a word. Squat's a word. I can't be misreading the symbols. 
they're, they're pretty they're pretty darn simple. The answer is either Z and then E or uh, Z or O. Z and then okay, I used the E twice. Is that no? That doesn't matter. So either this is green, which makes this a Z, and then we'd end in O because we're not ending Z P or Z W, but Z O also feels not quite right. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to think if there's like a Z Z O word or something. But really, the, the other option is that this letter is a B, L, or A, and then we end in R. And I just don't, I just don't see a word ending in B, R, or L, R. So it's going to be A, R. I can't get out of my head that something like, I don't know, Mitzo is a word, but it's not going to be that. Now I'm thinking about like I something I A R. That doesn't make sense. I something U A R. U something U A R. Uh, I really don't want to do a filler. The only thing I can think of is that Shire is somehow a word spelled this way, but it's not. It's it's like that. How about Dinar? All right, it ends in AR, but there's no I or N. I guess that's good to know. No D. Um, what the heck is this word? This didn't help me think about it at all. <laughs> I was really hoping to get a letter. Um, sugar. It's sugar. Wow. I don't know why that just suddenly came to me. Sugar is such a weird word, isn't it? Okay. Well, I got it eventually. Sugar in four is not terrible. I if had I thought of sugar before DNR, I would have get I would have gotten a three for sure. Um, okay. Yeah. Weird. I just thought of cigar as well. Cigar would have been a great guess. All right. Well, now that I, now that I see words that end in AR, I'm suddenly thinking of a bunch. All right. We're starting fusel with sugar and this is giving us wormhole clues. So for each of these slots, it's telling us that in this case, that they were not within three of that letter. So you can see the keyboard update as we move through. This next one is just incognito tiles. We're not going to get clues for these two. This one, yellow and green are ambiguous. So if it's yellow or green, it'll show up as this yellow green slash. Here in the dotted, we have to put a vowel. We were not forbidden from putting vowels elsewhere, but we must put vowels in these two. Here, one of the colors will be a lie, just like fibble. And then here we're not allowed to use E, G, J, T, or X in our guess, which is going to be a little bit annoying if the answer involves any of those letters. But All right. So what do I want to guess here? I want to get some good letters in the slots that we have them. I'll definitely try to end in E. Um, what's like a common letter that I'd want to try in this slot? Maybe an L. And then... Can't be S or T. Maybe I'll do like an A or an I or something. I'll do olive. It doesn't matter what I put in these two because I'm not going to get clues for them as long as I don't repeat letters. Okay, no O, L, or E in the word. Interesting. Um... Darn, I was going to guess chart, but this last one can't be a T. 
charred then. How about sh I can't do shard, so I'm going to do charred. There's a C in the word. We don't know if it's first or not. We'll use it first again. Um, but I have to use a vowel in both of these spots. We know this is not an I. Hold on. Did I? Oh, it didn't matter that I put an I there because I wasn't going to get clues anyway. Although I maybe should have gone for something that could have been the answer. But like, what are the chances of after a warm old sugar <laughs> that I get the answer into? Anyway, uh, probably could have though. I, I'm going to put the C somewhere, but what vowel could this be? Only U. Could also be a Y. We're allowed to use Y as vowel. Um, so I think I will end in Y in this case. Can I think of anything that uses a C with um, this a tall order? Um, I don't know what to do here. You. NY. I th I think I'm. I think I'm gonna have to end an E. I'd like to know if the C is there. I don't even know if I can put a U here. If I want to use the C. N E. I just want to know if there's an I in the word at all. If we end in I N E, you know what? We can do China. I guess it, we know there's no H though. Can I end in like ice? Um, price or something. This guess is going to be completely wasted, isn't it? I'm going to be embarrassed if it ends up following this form, but I don't think it will. Um, I just I can't put together a good word here, so I'm going to do I'm going to do price. And just move on. All right, there is an I in the word somewhere. There is a C, and it's not here. I'm gonna guess civic. <laughs> I think it's civic. Look, we can we can do a C here. We can do an I here. We can do a V here. Imagine if the two letters that were actually in the word ended up in this incognito. Yeah, I'm gonna do civic. Ooh, whoa. What's our lie? What's our lie? If the, if it had been correct, then we would have won on the lie clue. This does not forbid. Uh, this does not forbid any of these. Um, I mean, if it was something like livid, then I would understand. We know there's a C in the word. Uh, so if this was lying, it would be yellow, but if this was lying, it'd be yellow and it would have to go. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. So we do end in C. These eyes can't both be lying. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think, I think this is what happened. I think it's lying about the V and I think we just need to come up with like, I think it's mimic actually. It is mimic. Okay. Very tough word, especially with all these twists. Yeah, it, it literally said, hey, put vowels where you need consonants in this one. <laughs> oh, it is a little sad that I didn't get the I in olive, but how would I know? All right, one last game. We are start. We cannot start with Mimic. We're, uh, not that I would really want to. I'm going to start with Stare. <laughs> Let's just do that. Okay, this one we weren't allowed to guess these letters. Here we're getting Wormal hints again, so... I kind of want to just do like Mary. Oh no, we don't want to put an R fourth. Um, why do I want to guess rabid? Oh, it came to mind. Let's guess it. Okay, so this is we did not find where the R and A go. We they are in the word, but this one's near R. 
So we start with OPQ or U. It's tempting to just start with QU here. What would it be though? Because we need to use an A and an R as well. I actually don't, I don't think we could start with QU. Okay, let's not do that. Let's start with P then. Now we're not gonna actually know if it starts with P unless we get it right, but PR makes a lot of sense to me. And then we need a different letter here other than, we need a different vowel here other than the A. You know what I'm thinking about is Prima. Oh, it can't end in A. So, oh, prior? Prior is good. No, prior is not a word apparently. Prior is spelled with an E? I don't know, I'm confused. Um, this doesn't have to be a P, but I mean, I guess it kind of does have to be a P, doesn't it? If it's going to be a consonant, R, it's going to be a P. Um, and then the A, the A can't go here, so the A would be forced here. It could be AR. No, it can't be AR. Never mind. What am I, what am I doing here? Um, do I end in AR again? <laughs> Please don't make me end in AR again. Um, What's this word? I mean, the R could go here. Or it could go at the end. Um, this could just be a vowel. How about polar? It is polar. Nice. Got polar in three. Another AR word. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So we were going to get a Y, and then we would have to use three vowels in a row. That's insane. Uh, and then ambigu ambiguous answers on the second to last. That's always stressful. Cool. Well, I, um, I had a bit of a struggle in a lot of these games, except for connections, which went very smoothly. But the rest were, were a bit of a struggle. So um, definitely a longer video as well. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.